hello friends this is durga again and uh, in this video i'll be talking about uh, uh, the prerequisites uh, while setting up the uh, uh, hadoop cluster um, it is common for uh, whether you are using aws or uh, uh, vms on your uh, pc or even production clusters these prerequisites have to be set up so let me talk about that so there are several prerequisites which are mandatory on each and every um, uh, node uh, we will be using for setting up hadoop cluster so the first one is disabling sc linux sc linux stands for security enforcing linux and uh, you have to disable you don't need to understand what is sc linux and uh, why it has to be disabled and all those things it's a rule that uh, most of us follow to disable the SC, uh, SC Linux, we, we don't want uh, security enforcing Linux. So the file which we need to modify for that, uh, I logged into the master instance using public IP. And uh, here if you look at etc uh, SC Linux, and uh, then there is a file called config. And if you look into this, uh, there is a entry which says SC Linux equal to enforcing. So it has to be changed to disabled. I will not be uh, disabling now, uh, but uh, uh, so what, uh, so disabling SC Linux means updating these files and uh, uh, modifying enforcing to disabled for SC Linux, and then you have to reboot the server. Let me walk through the rest of the prerequisites before we start making changes. And then you have to set the U-mask. By default also it's uh, 0 to 2 only. Uh, uh, so uh, that is fine. You can uh, uh, set it or you, you can ignore it. It's up to you. But uh, um, uh, to be safe aside, I'm just setting it up. U-mask is actually determines uh, how files should be created. And uh, if you look at, um, I'm at the home directory of uh, ECT user. And if I create a file called test, touch means it will just create empty file without any content. And uh, here, if you see, actually uh, the umask of this is uh, 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 one, one, and uh, three, I think. Uh, no, 115. This is uh, 115. I'm sorry. Uh, so, uh, so here it says we should set it to 022. At this time, it is not 022. Uh, you can actually run the command and see what is your U mask. It's 0002. And we have to change it to uh, 022. And uh, now, if I change it to U mask 022. Sorry. And run command touch test one. And if you run ls minus ltr, uh, so uh, the file will have read the write permissions for the owner, read permissions for uh, uh, the other owner, uh, other users in the group. Uh, so in this case, the group is my uh, ECT user, and owner is also this is owner and this is group. So for this file want to have uh, read write permission and uh, other users in the same group have read permission and any other person who uh, who have login id uh, on this uh, linux instance have read permissions whereas for the file test want to have read write permission other users in the group have read write permission and uh, every every other one uh, having read permission which is not good for setting up uh, Hadoop cluster, we have to change it to uh, 022 so that uh, uh, it is uh, the files are created like this. Okay. And then uh, also you have to uh, set up NTPD. NTPD is a network time protocol. Uh, it, it will help us uh, if, if we set up NTPD to the same time zone and uh, if we enable on all of the servers all the servers will be in sync either you can have a ntpd server uh, uh, where all the instances can point to one ser server and they will be syncing from that or you can just uh, use same time zone on all of them 
and in our case we'll be using the default configurations and uh, we will just enable ntpd on all the servers so let's check whether ntpd is on uh, on these uh, servers which are provisioned from uh, uh, aws and for that you can run check config command Uh, minus minus list ntpd and uh, it is not on and also you can check whether ntpd is running it is right now stopped so we have to uh, enable to start on the reboot so we have to run check config and uh, enable uh, 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 the service to be started on boot and uh, uh, and we will restart after setting up all the prerequisites. We need not run service NTPD start, but we can check the status once uh, uh, the, uh, the prerequisites are configured. And then you have to disable IP tables and IP6 tables. Again, you can run check config minus minus, sorry, minus minus list and uh, IP tables it is off but to be safer side we will turn um, uh, we will turn all of them off so ip6 tables is on so we will turn off both ip tables and ip6 tables as part of setting up prerequisites and then we have to disable uh, something called swappiness swappiness what happens is if the swappiness is enabled uh, when memory is full uh, whatever software that is running on that will start using the swap space and uh, for uh, hadoop um, uh, yeah, yeah, for the tools in hadoop we should not use swap space at all everything should be run in memory so for that reason we have to disable swappiness and uh, to validate whether the swappiness is uh, enabled or not you have to uh, uh, you can actually run a command uh, called cat slash proc slash sys slash vm slash swappiness and it is 60 so i think uh, up to 60 percent uh, of the memory will be swapped i don't know the actual meaning of this 60 but it has to be zero to disable it um, and uh, 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 and also it requires reboot and we will be taking care uh, uh, after the prerequisites are done and uh, uh, there will be several Hadoop users which will be created uh, by the time we complete the setup. And all those users have to have uh, uh, higher limits of no file and uh, n proc. Um, uh, for, uh, and uh, that also we need to take care of by updating uh, a file called uh, uh, etcsecuritylimits.conf. So if you go to this file called uh, view etc the file name is slash etc slash security and the limits dot conf so here there are no users at this time but uh, we need to add several users let me see whether yeah there are no users at this time and uh, every every user will have default u limits and we need to increase them uh, especially for nproc and no file uh, no file stands for maximum number of open files as it says here and uh, uh, nproc stands for maximum number of process and we have to increase these two limits to 32768 for all the users that will be created uh, as part of the Hadoop setup and those users we will not be creating those users will be created by um, Ambari uh, which is uh, monitoring and uh, setup, uh, with, uh, setup tool for uh, Hortonworks and uh, by updating this file as part of the prerequisites whenever Ambari creates those users uh, the uh, security uh, limits uh, will uh, will increase for the both number of files and number of processes so that being said we have to prepare a script something like this i will show you the sample script sig drive c u 
this okay and in this uh, i have personal personal uh, hadoop training i will be sharing uh, these files uh, uh, either through emails or uh, if you can connect with me i can share these files uh, or i might upload to github and you can actually uh, get these files from github okay in this you have info lab and uh, Pick one ls minus ltr. So here, let me show you setup cluster. So uh, this is the script which I have. So if you cat the script, so it have all the instructions. Okay, and uh, uh, one more thing is if you if you have to have custom storage uh, rather than using the default 30 GB storage, whatever is added at the time of uh, preparing the cluster sometimes we uh, we will encounter mount points and uh, those mount points might not have been already uh, uh, already mounted to the server they just uh, uh, have assigned to the server but we have to mount and we have to format and all those things so if that is required you might have to update the script uh, otherwise you uh, you can safely use the script to set up prerequisites and and uh, it has all the scripts so this one will uh, is using set command to replace uh, sc linux from enforcing to disabled and also uh, it has the instructions uh, to uh, uh, to enable ntpd uh, to set up umask to uh, uh, disable ip tables and ip6 tables to disable swappiness and this is not required the, uh, the instructions are commented out so no need to worry and these are the six users which will be created by uh, ambari for setting up hadoop and for all these users we need to increase uh, security limits and probably we might have to add other uh, other users later but these are the most important users which will be created by ambari and uh, uh, for which we need to have higher uh, security limits so if you think about it in a 100 node cluster copying uh, running the scripts can be pretty, uh, can be tedious so uh, for that reason most of the enterprises uh, these days started using something called uh, parallel ssh it's uh, uh, google's uh, uh, google have uh, uh, open sourced it or they, they actually give that code to you you just have to download it and you have to do certain setups and then you can execute the script in parallel on all the hosts at the same time and it will cut down uh, uh, setting up this uh, 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 considerably so that being said these are the prerequisites which we will be setting up uh, as part of the next video and also as part of the uh, 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 that video you will see how we can leverage parallel ssh to set up all these prerequisites so uh, first i will create a video to uh, to just set up parallel ssh and then i will uh, explain you how we can uh, uh, run this script in parallel uh, on all the hosts uh, successfully i hope you are enjoying the content in my channel so far if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so if you like the video please like it if you want to uh, post a comment uh, please please do so thank you bye